I just passed my aircraft general knowledge examination here at the transport competence agency in Vilnius and this also completes my first CA exam session. So after almost three months of training and the completion of three subjects, it's time for a first recap. I started training on the 30th of September 2020, along with eight other guys from all over Europe. Our first day was mainly just an introduction. Uh, we got a tour of BAA training premises and had to fill out some paperwork, got our iPad and also got a quick um, overview of what training will look like and had a quiz at the end as well. And Yeah, after that we started straight into our first subject, Aircraft General Knowledge. We started AGK at the Academy in person and it was very interesting from the start, I have to say. It's, uh, it takes a bit of getting used to basically going to school again, but our instructor Domantas, he was really, really great. We had a very fun time with him as well and he also managed to teach us all the important aspects of aircraft general knowledge very well. After about two weeks, however, we received an email that a student from another group had tested positive for COVID and that we would have to continue training online virtually using Zoom. So that's what we did after a quick break of two days and I have to say it worked fine. It's not as good as in person, but I've talked more about this already in a previous video about training during lockdown. We finished AGK after a few weeks and it is a really, really long subject. It's uh, quite, quite intense and a lot of knowledge to be processed, but it's also interesting because it covers a lot of different aspects of aircraft like hydraulics, but also the engines, electrics, my least favorite topic I have to say, but uh, it's in general, it gave a great overview right at the beginning. We then had a couple of days off before taking our first internal school exam. For those of you that don't know, um, the examination system during ground school is that you have to take two exams per subject. One of them is done by the flight school. Uh, we held all of ours so far online because of restrictions. Um, and then you go to the um, respective civil aviation authority in Lithuania, it's the Transport Competence Agency, and you do the exam there as well. But you have to pass the internal one before you can even go there. So we had our first exam and I was nervous, I have to, I have to admit it, because I've never done it before, didn't know how the system would work, and then online as well. It's a bit more difficult than just using a pen and paper, but it worked fine and I passed very well, and yeah. We then had another couple of days off in order to synchronize our schedule with the group that started before us, because we would be having the next two subjects together. Our next subject was human performance and limitations. So it has everything to do with how the human behaves, um, what the limitations of a typical human being are. And um, it's a relatively short subject. It was only around two weeks during which I also flew home and stayed with my family for a couple of weeks because once again of COVID restrictions. I'd say the subject isn't quite as interesting in general as AGK, but our instructor Maria, she made sure to include a lot of uh, knowledge that she had from flying as a first officer, which made the whole subject way more interesting for us as well, because it just gave a glimpse into uh, the real pilot's life as well. We also had the internal exam right after we finished the subject and we moved on to our final subject this year, which was mass and balance. 
mass imbalance was interesting because in the beginning I was a bit worried about not managing to answer most of the questions in the question bank. But mass imbalance is one of those things where it's not so much about a lot of knowledge but just understanding how something is done. And after a couple of days it really really clicked for me and I just understood what I had to do no matter if I had seen the question before or not. It actually turned out to be a really really fun subject. I actually enjoyed doing all the calculations even though maths was never my favorite subject in, in school for example. But here again uh, we had the internal exam right after we finished the subject and I also passed very well I'd say. The only mistake I made was not really related to mass and balance. After being done with the first three subjects in this year, it was time for our first CAA exam session. A week before being able to book the first exam sessions, we were given a quick briefing and a quick rundown of the examination procedures at the authorities. One exam session consists of 10 days including weekends and you have six sessions in total for your training available. In general you can book your CAA sessions whenever you want but BAA gives recommended dates uh, where we do not have any classes so we can just prepare for the exams. It's really straightforward, you just book a time slot for a specific exam on a website and then show up with your ID and the confirmation from BAA training. The exam itself is very similar to the internal exam as well. It is a set number per subject of multiple choice questions which are done on a PC. The only real difference is that during the internal exams you have all your annexes just presented um, on your iPad and at the CAA you get a big, big folder with all the annexes inside so it just takes a bit longer to find the correct annex for the question. Quick thing, I just noticed whilst editing that I forgot to mention two other important differences. One is that you cannot go through the questions again before submitting the exam at the CAE. So um, you can only skip questions and then those will show up again at the end. But once you've answered a question, it's answered. And you also get instantaneous feedback on your answers so if a question is wrong, a little window will pop up and tell you that you got it wrong, which can definitely increase the stress level as well. I decided to do my exams in reverse order, so I started with mass and balance in the hope that the knowledge from the internal exam would still be fresh, and that was the case, I would say. The exam itself was fairly straightforward, I used aviation exam for the entire session to prepare and there were a couple of questions that I hadn't seen on aviation exam but nothing that was too difficult to solve. After a couple of days of studying I did human performance and limitations and the exam kind of surprised me because it was tougher than I thought. Uh, there were a lot of questions that I had not seen before and some of them are also couldn't answer. And it just goes to show that you really have to study the subject as well as the questions because it is a very, very broad field and some of the questions in the known question banks only um, depict a very small and very precise or a very detailed part of the subject. So it's always good to read up before the exams as well. But I passed and I'm pretty happy with the result. And lastly, what I did today was the subject that we had started with, Aircraft General Knowledge. And I gave myself the most time to prepare for this one uh, because it is a really, really, really large subject. And it has also been a couple months since we finished it. I had a bit of trouble before the exam because uh, Lithuania announced last weekend that it would go into a harsher lockdown 
and I didn't get a confirmation until Monday evening whether the exams would still go ahead as scheduled during the lockdown. So I decided to rebook my slot and do the exam one day earlier, so today, to make sure that I would still be able to do it. And the exam was fine, also a few new questions, but it was a very, very doable exam and I'm quite happy with the result. That was the recap of the first roughly three months of training at BA training as an ATPL integrated cadet and I'm going to start packing now because I'm flying home for Christmas and we'll recommence our training on the 4th of January. As always, if you have any feedback or any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to respond. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.